Hi Misfits! So this video is going to be a little bit different. Sam was brave enough last Saturday to talk about her mental health and I am very very proud of her for that. It's really tough and speaking about it is kind of taboo. It's getting to be less so and I'm very happy about that. A lot of people do have mental health problems and it's about time we talk about it. Obviously I'm with the Disney College program and I've gone through my own stuff. It's not been as hard as other people's. In fact, I've made it out pretty good. But I know a lot of people do struggle. It's hard if you've never been away from your family before, if you've never been out on your own before, and especially if things are going on at home that you're not there for. Um, I recently had a family member pass away and it's tough. It really is because I can't be there for my family. I am here and I want to be there for my family to help them through it. They're doing a great job and I'm so proud of everybody who's in that situation. But it's the concept. I know a lot of people feel this way. I know that there are also a lot of people that aren't attached to their family and feel that need to be away and separated, which is great. If that if this is a way that you can do that and feel happy, awesome. But some people do struggle and I feel that. Another thing that plays into it is your role and your location. If you get a role that you're not particularly fond of, or a location that is just really not great for you. Maybe your coworkers are not as positive as they should be. Maybe it's just a job that you can't really do as well. Or maybe it's something that you really have to focus on yourself and you can't help other people as well in some areas of the jobs where you need to be able to help other people. That is definitely something that you need to be able to speak about. So if you're having some of those issues, talk about it. It makes life so much easier because then you have that communication going. People understand where you're coming from if something happens. People understand what's going on and maybe somebody can help. Another thing can be relationships. If you're single and you're on the DCP, great. That can provide its own stressors because there are the pressures of finding someone, of meeting your true love and finding your happily ever after on your Disney College program. That's not what happens with everybody. In fact, it's a select few. But for those of us who are in relationships, it can also be tough because my love language is physical touch and I can't be with the people that I love. I can't be around the person that I'm dating I, because I'm so far away. And that travel time is so difficult. It's a long drive or flight for some people and it, it's expensive. Being in the DCP can put a lot of strain on a lot of things. So if you are looking to join the Disney College program, please be aware of what your limits are and what you're getting into because it's going to be so much better for you if you come in with a full knowledgeable mindset than it is if you just go in blind. Personally, my mental health has been up and down. I haven't had a whole lot of bad days, which is great, but that's because I've figured out myself, I've figured out what I can do, what my limits are, and how I want to feel. I thankfully don't have a lot of different brain chemistry that affects my mood and whatnot, but I know a lot of people do. I was blessed with not having to struggle with that. I have a little bit of mild depression and I have anxiety. It's not great being here during the pandemic because we are consistently around people and uh, I have that 
buildup of something's gonna happen. I wanna make sure everybody's safe. I can't make sure that I'm safe and everybody else is safe if people aren't following the rules. And that's where it becomes a problem for me. That's speaking on the anxiety part. On the depression part, thankfully I got out of a situation that was starting to get really bad for me. I was starting to feel stuck, like I wasn't going anywhere, and like I wasn't going to go anywhere. But finally having gotten here, I feel like I'm doing something. I feel like I'm progressing, even if it's a little bit. The thing that helps most with that, I think, is being able to go to different places, being able to pick up at Fort Wilderness one day, or pick up in Magic Kingdom instead of being in Animal Kingdom. That change of pace really does help with, help with my mindset. And I get to learn things along the way. I love learning things. It makes things so much more exciting. So that's on the depression part of it. I also, of course, have my ESA, Cloud. Um, for those who don't know what an ESA is, it is Emotional Support Animal. I have him because I have anxiety and I have trouble sleeping when I don't have that comfort around. I start to overthink really, really badly and I end up not going to sleep if I do that. But Cloud helps me feel comfortable. He makes me feel like I have something to focus on and when I have something to focus on, that's outside of my head, I'm not as much inside of my head. And in that case, I'm able to fall asleep easier. And with that, I can actually do my job well, because when you're well rested, when you have the right nutrients, you can actually perform better. Your brain functions so much better. Um, it's like you're on a whole new life. Along with sleep, you need nutrients and you need a healthy social life. So I have thankfully fallen into a group of wonderful people who have gotten me out of the apartment, who want to go experience things, who want to go do these things, and they're healthy towards each other. They help each other. They boost each other up. And that's the kind of environment, the kind of supporting environment that you need, that I at least need. Because if I'm consistently around people that are tearing me down, that are making fun of me, that are even just joking, it can be really damaging to the mindset. And it's not great. If you do happen to come to the DCP and you do happen to fall into people that aren't as great, it's okay to let them go. It's okay to find a new group that you're going to feel more comfortable with. I've lectured you guys long enough. <laughs> My mindset here is interesting. I love this environment and I really think that's what's helping me. If it's not the environment for you, that's fine. Just take into full consideration everything that you're getting into before making any decisions. This is a life altering thing. And it involves big changes, so many big changes. And if that's something you're ready for, we hope to see you soon and we'll welcome you with open arms. Thank you guys for watching. Be welcomed and get creative.